Welcome back, everyone. So when I said the word security leak, were you excited for some kind of FBI spy drama, you know, James Bond in action, uh, dealing with classified documents or somebody like Edward Snowden, you know, fighting against injustice? Well, actually, no. This, in this case, it was not like that at all. So it involves a, a man, a low-level government worker called Teixeira. Uh, apparently, that's a Brazilian Portuguese name, um, very interesting name. Um, and he got hold of some classified documents that he wasn't supposed to have access to. And for some reason, he decided to share them on his Discord server. Uh, the, the things he said surrounding the documents, it seemed a bit like he was sort of showing off. Display, look what I can get hold of. Wow, go me. Um, maybe his friends were impressed, maybe they weren't. That is not recorded in the article. Um, but of course, despite the fact he was really sure that his sharing of this document was absolutely undetectable, um, it, yeah. they, they caught him really easily. <laughs> it was very easy to trace. So uh, he was caught. Uh, and arrested. And uh, we're still waiting for the outcome of the case, um, but it doesn't look good for mm. Mr. Teixeira. Mm. Um, so, yes, an interesting case. Um, definitely different to other secure, high profile security leaks mm. that we've heard about coming out of the USA in the past, but still perhaps troubling that another one has happened <laughs> just in general. Yeah. Perhaps it shows how easy it could be for someone to get their hands on information they're not supposed to get their hands on. It does so. seem quite easy mm. uh, for in this case, because mm. with someone like Edward Snowden, who actually did do a very good job in trying to be untraceable, mm. um, but in the end was found anyway, because it's the American government. He released it to the public. So yeah. That's how they found him. Well, I believe he didn't he release it through a whistleblower program? Yes, Wall Street thought, Journal, I think it was. It was the BBC. He got in touch oh. with the British, not the BBC, was it the Guardian? A British newspaper. Ah, okay. um, the it, unnamed. <laughs> some mm -hmm. British newspaper. Uh, and he got them to fly to Hong Kong. Anyway, it's, it's ah, a long okay. and complicated story, but that's mm -hmm. why he managed to escape because they didn't realize what he'd done until they were literally ready to publish. <sighs> But he did try and contact WikiLeaks, but they were suspicious of him. I think they wouldn't do it, or they yeah. didn't trust him straight off the bat. Because <laughs> um, Edward Assange, right? Julian Assange. Julian Assange. I was mixing Edward their names. Uh, he did his own little leaks, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. That yeah. was his whole thing. What are your thoughts, John, on Teixeira, Teixeira, sorry's motivation for disseminating the classified documents? I mean, you've heard my interpretation, but yeah. how did you? Uh, so I have watched some, like, uh, some videos related to this, just kind of explaining the situation in a nutshell. And it does seem like a lot of the motivations were, were clout-based, meaning he wanted uh, kind of social cred or social credibility online. Mm -hmm. um, I, it doesn't seem like they were released out of the out of the concern for any of the American public or the public abroad. Um, I believe there are some stuff about Korea's little talks about um, um, weapons exchange, possibly that didn't seem to give any sort of benefit to anyone, Korea or America or anyone. Mm. So it does seem like it was motivated by um, by just showing off. <laughs> I believe Edward Snowden had his own motivation, which seems legitimate, whether you agree with it or not, uh, motivation for this doesn't seem as legitimate. But so, yeah, um, pe you know, the, the discussion of uh, the traitorous nature of his actions. Um, also, you know, the thing about Snowden is he, you know, he saw himself whether you agree or not is different, but he saw himself as a whistleblower. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this mm -hmm. to benefit the government. I think I'm helping mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. But this guy, you know, he didn't even try to release the information to the public. Yeah. You know, it was just to a little group of people. So, yeah, I, if, if he tries to claim in court that he's doing it for the public good, I think no one's going to believe that. It's going to be hard. I think he's yeah. going to be behind bars. I think so. Up to 15 soon. years, it says. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 15 years mm -hmm. for the crime of leaking classified mm -hmm. information. What do you think about this punishment? You know, mm -hmm. is it going to have an impact to deter potential future leakers? 
I think it might deter people from leaking on a Discord server, like leaking to their friends or whatever without any real purpose. But in the end, nothing is going to deter a whistleblower if they think the cause is righteous. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when people think a cause is true and right, they don't mind being punished for it. Um, they, they're willing to accept that a lot of the time. And so, yeah, whistleblowers should and will be a thing. Um, I don't think it will affect too much. Now, if he is uh, convicted under American law, it gives kind of precedent to convict other potential whistleblowers because mm. they're not probably going to not separate him from other whistleblowers. Mm. And so that could be difficult for future ones. Like they'll get higher penalties, mm -hmm. uh, punishments, but in the end, they're going to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it might. I think you're right, though. It might deter just people like this guy yeah. that just want to sort of play around and show off. They yeah. might think twice before playing a funny mm -hmm. game um, in the future. We so. say that, but a lot of people do prank YouTube and mm -hmm. they've been shot before what? and killed before in America and they still do it. <laughs> no. Oh. So, Human yeah. idiocy is incredible. <laughs> Someone will always do it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure the vocabulary um, does not go unnoticed. Check it out, read it carefully, and see if you can fit it into your English conversations very soon. And we will see you in the next article. Bye-bye. Disseminate. Disseminate. Penchant. Penchant Lambast Lambast Martyr Martyr Interference Interference